A number of traditions have lists of many names of God, many of which enumerate the various qualities of a supreme being. The English word, God, and its equivalent in other languages is used by multiple religions as a noun or name to refer to different deities, or specifically to the supreme being, as denoted in English by the capitalized and uncapitalized terms, God, and God. Ancient cognate equivalents for the Biblical Hebrew Elohim, one of the most common names of God in the Bible, include Proto-Semitic El, Biblical Aramaic Elah, and Arabic Ilah. The personal or proper name for God in many of these languages may either be distinguished from such attributes, or homonymic. For example, in Judaism the tetragrammaton is sometimes related to the ancient Hebrew Ihya I will be. In the Hebrew Bible, Exodus chapter 3 verse 15, the personal name of God is revealed directly to Moses, namely Yahweh. Correlation between various theories and interpretation of the name of the one God used to signify a monotheistic or ultimate supreme being from which all other divine attributes derive has been a subject of ecumenical discourse between eastern and western scholars for over 2 centuries. In Christian theology the word must be a personal and a proper name of God, hence it cannot be dismissed as mere metaphor. On the other hand, the names of God in a different tradition are sometimes referred to by symbols. The question whether divine names used by different religions are equivalent has been raised and analyzed. Exchange of names held sacred between different religious traditions is typically limited. Other elements of religious practice may be shared, especially when communities of different faiths are living in close proximity for example, the use of Om and Gayatri within the Indian Christian community but usage of the names themselves mostly remains within the domain of a particular religion, or even may help define one s religious belief according to practice, as in the case of the recitation of names of God such as the Japa. Guru Gobind sings Yap Sahib, which contains 950 names of God. The Divine Names, the classic treatise by Pseudo Dionysus, defines the scope of traditional understandings in Western traditions such as Hellenic, Christian, Jewish and Islamic theology on the nature and significance of the names of God. Further historical lists such as the 72 names of the Lord show parallels in the history and interpretation of the name of God amongst Kabbalah, Christianity, and Hebrew scholarship in various parts of the Mediterranean world. The attitude as to the transmission of the name in many cultures was surrounded by secrecy. In Judaism, the pronunciation of the name of God has always been guarded with great care. It is believed that, in ancient times, the sages communicated the pronunciation only once every seven years. This system was challenged by more recent movements. The nature of a holy name can be described as either personal or attributive. In many cultures, it is often difficult to distinguish between the personal and the attributive names of God, the two divisions necessarily shading into each other. Topic. Abrahamic religions Topic. Topic. Judaism Topic. El comes from a root word meaning might, strength, power. Sometimes referring to God and sometimes the mighty when used to refer to the God of Israel, El is almost always qualified by additional words that further define the meaning that distinguishes him from false gods. A common title of God in the Hebrew Bible is Elohim Hebrew. The root Eloah is used in poetry and late prose, e.g., the Book of Job, and ending with the masculine plural suffix, I'm, im creating a word like Bob alim, owners, and Adonim, lords, masters, that may also indicate a singular identity. In the Book of Exodus, God commands Moses to tell the people that, I am, sent him, and this is revered as one of the most important names of God according to Mosaic tradition. Moses said to God, Suppose I go to the Israelites and say to them, The God of your fathers has sent me to you, and they ask me, What is his name, then what shall I tell them? God said to Moses, I am who I am. This is what you are to say to the Israelites, I am has sent me to you. God also said to Moses, Say to the Israelites, The Lord, the God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac and the God of Jacob, has sent me to you, this is my name forever, the name you shall call me from generation to generation. 
In Exodus chapter 6 verse 3, when Moses first spoke with God, God said, I used to appear to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob as El Shaddai, but I did not make myself known to them by my name YHWH. YHWH Yao is the proper name of God in Judaism. Neither vowels nor vowel points were used in ancient Hebrew writings, and the original vocalization of YHWH has been lost. Later commentaries additionally suggested that the true pronunciation of this name is composed entirely of vowels, such as the Greek Iau. However, this is put into question by the fact that vowels were only distinguished in the time period by their very absence due to the lack of explicit vowels in the Hebrew script. The resulting substitute made from semivowels and glottals, known as the tetragrammaton, is not ordinarily permitted to be pronounced aloud, even in prayer. The prohibition on misuse not use of this name is the primary subject of the command not to take the name of the Lord in vain. Instead of pronouncing YHWH during prayer, Jews say, Adonai, Lord. Halakha requires that secondary rules be placed around the primary law, to reduce the chance that the main law will be broken. As such, it is common religious practice to restrict the use of the word Adonai to prayer only. In conversation, many Jewish people, even when not speaking Hebrew, will call God Hashem, Hesem which is Hebrew for the name. This appears in Leviticus chapter 24 verse 11. Almost all Orthodox Jews avoid using either Yahweh or Jehovah altogether on the basis that the actual pronunciation of the Tetragrammaton has been lost in antiquity. Many use the term Hashem as an indirect reference, or they use God or the Lord instead. Topic: <laughs> Christianity. Topic: Some biblical scholars say YHWH was most likely pronounced Yahweh. References such as the New Encyclopedia Britannica validate the above by offering additional specifics to its Christian reconstruction out of Greek sources. Early Christian writers, such as Clement of Alexandria in the second century, had used a form like Yahweh and claim that this pronunciation of the tetragrammaton was never really lost. Other Greek transcriptions also indicated that YHWH should be pronounced Yahweh. The Hebrew theonyms Elohim and YHWH are mostly rendered as God and the Lord, respectively, although in the Protestant tradition the personal names Yahweh and Jehovah are also used. Jehovah appears in the Tyndale Bible, the King James Version, and other translations from that time period and later. Many English translations of the Bible translate the Tetragrammaton as Lord, thus removing any form of YHWH from the written text and going well beyond the Jewish oral practice of substituting Adonai for YHWH when reading aloud. English Bible translations of the Greek New Testament render Ho Theos Greek, Omicron Theos as God and Ho Kyrios Greek, Omicron Kyrios as the Lord. Jesus IES use, Yeshua was a common alternative form of the name Yehoshua. Yehoshua, Joshua in later books of the Hebrew Bible and among Jews of the Second Temple period. The name corresponds to the Greek spelling Isis, from which comes the English spelling Jesus. Christ means the anointed. In Greek, Christ Christus is the Greek equivalent of the Hebrew word Messiah, while in English the old Anglo-Saxon Messiah rendering Haland healer was practically annihilated by the Latin Christ. Some cognates such as Highland in Dutch and Afrikaans survive. Also, in German, the word Highland is sometimes used as reference to Jesus, e.g., in church chorals. In the book of Revelation in the Christian New Testament, God is quoted as saying, I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. Cf. Rev. 1-8, 21-6, and 22-13. Some Quakers refer to God as the Light. Another term used is King of Kings or Lord of Lords and Lord of the Hosts. Other names used by Christians include Ancient of Days, Father, Abba, Most High, and the Hebrew names Elohim, El Shaddai, Yahweh, Jehovah and Adonai. Abba Father is a common term used for the Creator within Christianity because it was a title Jesus used to refer to God the Father. <laughs> Mormonism in Mormonism the name of God the Father is Elohim and the name of Jesus in his pre-incarnate state was Jehovah. Together, with the Holy Ghost they form the Godhead, God the Father, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. 
Mormons typically refer to God as Heavenly Father or Father in Heaven. Although Mormonism views the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit as three distinct beings, they are one in purpose and God the Father Elohim is worshipped and given all glory through His Son, Jesus Christ Jehovah. Despite the Godhead doctrine, which teaches that God the Father, Jesus Christ and the Holy Ghost are three separate, divine beings, many Mormons mainstream Latter-day Saints and otherwise, such as the Fundamentalist Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints view their beliefs as monotheist since Christ is the conduit through which humanity comes to the God the Father. The Book of Mormon ends with, "...to meet you before the pleasing bar of the great Jehovah, the eternal judge of both the quick and dead. Amen." Topic. Jehovah's Witnesses Topic. Jehovah's Witnesses believe that God has only one distinctive name, represented in the Old Testament by the Tetragrammaton. In English, they prefer to use the form Jehovah. According to Jehovah's Witnesses, the name Jehovah means, He causes to become. Scriptures frequently cited in support of the name include Isaiah chapter 42 verse 8. I am Jehovah. That is my name. Psalms 83-18. May people know that you, whose name is Jehovah, you alone are the Most High over all the earth. And Exodus chapter 6 verse 3. And I used to appear to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob as God Almighty, but with regard to my name Jehovah I did not make myself known to them. While opposers of the faith critique their use of the form Jehovah, Jehovah's Witnesses still hold on to their belief that, despite having scholars prefer the Yahweh pronunciation, the name Jehovah adequately transmits the idea behind the meaning of God's name in English. While they don't discourage the use of the Yahweh pronunciation, they highly consider the long history of the name Jehovah in the English language and see that it sufficiently identifies God's divine persona. Topic: Other Christian movements. Topic. Deus is the Latin word for God. It was inherited by the Romance languages in French Dieu, Spanish Dios, Portuguese and Galician Deus, Italian Dio, etc., and by the Celtic languages in Welsh Duw and Irish Dia. Gudan is the Proto-Germanic word for God. It was inherited by the Germanic languages in Gud in modern Scandinavian, God in Frisian, Dutch, and English, and Gott in modern German. Bog is the word for God in most Slavic languages, Cyrillic script, Bog Czech, Ba, Polish, Bog, Slovak, Bo. The term is derived from Proto-Slavic asterisk Bog, which originally meant, earthly wealth, well-being, fortune, with a semantic shift to, dispenser of wealth, fortune, and finally, God. The term may have originally been a borrowing from the Iranian languages. Shangdi, Shangdi pinyin Shangdi, literally, king above is used to refer to the Christian God in the standard Chinese Union version of the Bible. Shane Shane lit. God. Spirit. Or. Deity. Was adopted by Protestant missionaries in China to refer to the Christian God. In this context it is usually rendered with a space. Shane. To demonstrate reverence. Zhu and Tianzu Zhu. Tianzu lit. Lord. Or. Lord in heaven. Are equivalent to. Lord. These names are used as formal titles of the Christian God in mainland China's Christian churches. Korean Catholics also use the Korean cognate of Tianzu, Qianju, as the primary reference to God in both ritual, ceremonial and vernacular, but mostly ritual, ceremonial contexts. Korean Catholics and Korean Anglicans also use a cognate of the Chinese Shangdi, Sangje, but this has largely fallen out of regular use in favor of Qianju. Also used as the vernacular Hanayunam, the traditional Korean name for the God of Heaven. Liberal-minded Korean Protestants also use Hanayunam, but not Sangje, and conservative Korean Protestants do not use Sangje or Hanayunam at all but instead use Hananam, which implied the oneness of the Almighty distinct from the mythological implications they see in the term Hanayunam. Many Vietnamese Christians also use cognates of Shangdi expected to have a distribution in usage similar to Korean Christians, with Anglicans and Catholics using the cognates of Sangje in ritual, ceremonial contexts and Protestants not using it at all, to refer refer to the biblical god tagalog speaking filipino catholics and other christians use makapal glossed as creator an epithet originally applied to the pre-colonial supreme deity baithala to refer to the christian godhead in most contexts 
when paired with another term for God, e.g., Panganung Makapal, Lord Creator, Amang Makapal, Father Creator. It functions as a descriptor much like the adjectives in the English, God Almighty, or Latin Omnipotens Deus. Among the Nguni peoples of southern Africa, he is known as Nkosi, roughly glossed as King. This name is used in Nkosi Sikkel Africa. Followers of the Rastafari movement call God Ja Rastafari in the Yorubaland region of West Africa, Nigeria. Meanwhile, he is known as Olotomare. In the Igbo region of West Africa, Nigeria, he is known as Chukwu. In the Hausa region of West Africa, Nigeria, he is known as Ala. In the Ibibio region of West Africa, Nigeria, he is known as Abasi. Islam Allah — meaning, the God, in Arabic — is the name of God in Islam. The word Allah has been used by Arabic people of different religions since pre-Islamic times. More specifically, it has been used as a term for God by Muslims both Arab and non-Arab and Arab Christians. God has many names in Islam. The Quran says translation to him belong the best names. Lahu al asmao al husna. Examples like Ar Rahman, the entirely merciful, Ar Rahim, the especially merciful. Besides these Arabic names, Muslims of non-Arab origins may also sometimes use other names in their own languages to refer to God, such as Kuda in Persian, Bengali and Hindi Urdu. Tangri or Tengri was used in the Ottoman Turkish language as the equivalent of Allah. He is Allah, other than whom there is no deity, knower of the unseen and the witnessed. He is the entirely merciful, the especially merciful. He is Allah, other than whom there is no deity, the sovereign, the pure, the perfection, the bestower of faith, the overseer, the exalted in might, the compeller, the superior. Exalted is Allah above whatever they associate with him. He is Allah, the creator, the inventor, the fashioner, to him belong the best names. Whatever is in the heavens and earth is exalting him. And he is the exalted in might, the wise. Translation of Quran, chapter 59, verses 22-24. Topic. Sufism Topic. In Tasawwuf, the inner, mystical dimension of Islam, who, huwa, depends on placement in sentence, or parvartigar in Persian are used as names of God. The sound hu derives from the last letter of the word Allah, which is read as Allahu when in the middle of a sentence. Hu means just he or revealed. The word explicitly appears in many verses of the Quran. La ilaha illa hu. Baha'i faith The Baha'i scriptures often refer to God by various titles and attributes, such as Almighty, All-Possessing, All-Powerful, All-Wise, Incomparable, Gracious, Helper, All-Glorious, and Omniscient. Baha is believed the greatest name of God is All-Glorious, or Baha in Arabic. Baha is the root word of the following names and phrases, the greeting Allah U Abba God is the All-Glorious, the invocation Ya Baha, U, El Abba O Thou Glory of the Most Glorious, Baha, U, La the Glory of God, and Baha, I Follower of the All-Glorious. These are expressed in Arabic regardless of the language in use see Baha, I Symbols. Apart from these names, God is addressed in the local language, for example Ishwar in Hindi, Dieu in French and Dios in Spanish. Baha. Is believe Baha. You. La, the founder of the Baha. I faith, is the. Complete incarnation of the names and attributes of God. <laughs> Hinduism the Sanatana Dharma focuses only on formless God, as is described in the most authoritative texts such as the Mundakapanishad and Mandukuapanishad. In all Vedic texts, God has been revered by the name Param Brahma, Brahmana, not to confuse with the caste, Paramatma, Supreme Soul, Parampita, Supreme Father, Parmaashwara, the ultimate governor. Besides, there are multiple names for God's various forms worshipped as deities, Devata and Devi, in Hinduism. Some of the popular names for these deities in Hinduism are Krishna, Kresna Krishna is recognized as the complete and or as the supreme god in his own right. 
Krishna is one of the most widely revered and popular of all Hindu deities. Prabhu Prabhu Bhagavan, Bhagavan of the most frequently used name for God in Hinduism. Brahman, Brahman the unchanging reality amidst and beyond the world, which cannot be exactly defined. Ishvara Isvara is a theological concept in Hinduism translating to Lord, applied to the Supreme Being, or God in the monotheistic sense, or as an Ishta Deva in monistic thought. Brahma, Brahma is the Hindu god of creation and one of the Trimurti. Vishnu Visnu is the supreme god of Vaishnavism, one of the three main sects of Hinduism. Shiva Shiva is the supreme god of Shaivism, one of the three main sects of Hinduism. Shakti Sakti represents the dynamic forces that are thought to move through the entire universe in Hinduism. And is the supreme god des in Shaktism. Ganesha Ganesha also known as Vinaharta, son of Shiva and Shakti. Additionally, most Hindu gods and some revered saints have a collection of 108 names. Each collection of 108 names is known as that god's Ashtatara Shatanamavali, which is chanted during pujas or prayer. Gods with 108 names include Krishna, Ganesha, Vishnu, Shiva, Lakshmi, and even saints such as Sai Baba, Swami Samarth. The Mahabharata, Anusasana Parva Book 13, S149 lists the thousand names of the one god Vasudeva. That collection is known as the Vishnu Sahasranamam. Arya Samaj Maharishi Dayanand in his book Satyarth Prakash has listed 100 names of God each representing some property or attribute thereof mentioning Om or Aum as God's personal and natural name. <laughs> Jainism Jainism rejects the idea of a creator deity responsible for the manifestation, creation, or maintenance of this universe. According to Jain doctrine, the universe and its constituents soul, matter, space, time, and principles of motion have always existed. All the constituents and actions are governed by universal natural laws and an immaterial entity like God cannot create a material entity like the universe. Jainism offers an elaborate cosmology, including heavenly beings devas, but these beings are not viewed as creators, they are subject to suffering and change like all other living beings, and must eventually die. Jains define godliness as the inherent quality of any soul characterizing infinite bliss, infinite power, perfect knowledge and perfect peace. However, these qualities of a soul are subdued due to karmas of the soul. One who achieves this state of soul through right belief, right knowledge and right conduct can be termed as God. This perfection of soul is called kaivalya or bodhi. A liberated soul thus becomes a god, liberated of miseries, cycles of rebirth, world, karmas and finally liberated of body as well. This is called nirvana or moksha. If godliness is defined as the state of having freed one's soul from karmas and the attainment of enlightenment, nirvana and a god as one who exists in such a state, then those who have achieved such a state can be termed gods, tirthankara. Thus, Rishabha was God, Tirthankara but he was not the only Tirthankara, there were many other Tirthankara. However, the quality of godliness is one and the same in all of them. Thus, Jainism can be defined as polytheist, monotheist, nontheist, transtheist or atheist, depending on one's definition of God. Jainism does not teach the dependency on any supreme being for enlightenment. The Tirthankara is a guide and teacher who points the way to enlightenment, but the struggle for enlightenment is one's own. Moral rewards and sufferings are not the work of a divine being, but a result of an innate moral order in the cosmos, a self-regulating mechanism whereby the individual reaps the fruits of his own actions through the workings of the karmas. Jains believe that to attain enlightenment and ultimately liberation from all karmic bonding, one must practice the ethical principles not only in thought, but also in words speech, and action. Such a practice through lifelong work towards oneself is called as observing the Mahavrata great vows. Gods can be thus categorized into embodied gods also known as Tirthankaras and Arahantas or ordinary Kivalin, and non-embodied formless gods who are called Siddhas. Jainism considers the Devas and Devas to be souls who dwell in heavens owing to meritorious deeds in their past lives. These souls are in heavens for a fixed lifespan and even they have to undergo reincarnation as humans to achieve moksha. 
Topic Sikhism topic There are multiple names for God in Sikhism. Some of the popular names for God in Sikhism are, Akal Purak, meaning Timeless One. Ik Ankar, the beginning of the Sikh Mul Mantra. Nirankar, meaning Formless One. Hari, meaning Most Absolute or Glowing One. Ram, meaning All Pervading Lord Satnam, meaning True Name. Some are of the opinion that this is a name for God in itself, others believe that this is an adjective used to describe the Gurmantar, Wahe Guru. See above. Wahe Guru, meaning wonderful teacher bringing light to remove darkness, this name is considered the greatest among Sikhs, and it is known as Gurmantar, the Guru's word. Wahe Guru is the only way to meet God in Sikhism. Allah, meaning the God, the term is also used by Sikhs in the Sikh scriptures in reference to God. The word Allah Allahu is used twelve times in the Guru Granth Sahib by Sheikh Farid. Guru Nanak, Guru Aryan and Saint Kabir used the word 18 times. God, according to Guru Nanak, is beyond full comprehension by humans, has endless number of virtues, takes on innumerable forms, but is formless, and can be called by an infinite number of names thus, your names are so many, and your forms are endless. No one can tell how many glorious virtues you have. Topic Zoroastrianism Topic In Zoroastrianism, 101 Names of God Sad o yak nam I koda is a list of names of God Ahura Mazda. The list is preserved in Persian, Pazand and Gujarati. Parsi tradition expanded this to a list of 101 Names of God. Topic see also topic topic references topic topic citations topic topic source topic Bridgeto, Herbert Channon 1998. The Names of God, Poetic Readings in Biblical Beginnings. Oxford University Press. ISBN 0-19-510965-1. MBITI, John S. 1990. African Religions and Philosophy. London, Heinemann. pp. 34-36. ISBN 0-435-89591-5. Perinder, Jeffrey. 1975. Comparative Religion. Westport, Conn, Greenwood Press. ISBN 0-8371-7301-9. Walter Henry Medhurst 1848. An Inquiry into the Proper Mode of Rendering the Word God in Translating the Sacred Scriptures into the Chinese Language. Mission Press. p. 170. Edward Washburn Hopkins 1918. History of Religions. ISBN 1-4366-7119-1, Van der Torn, Carol Dictionary of Deities and Demons in the Bible. New York, E.J. Brill. ISBN 0-8028-2491-9. External links Bibliography on Divine Names in the Dead Sea Scrolls Education — Hearing and Chanting in Iskan Do you know the origin of name Jehovah? Ehia and Yhwh — The relationship between the Divine Names in Exodus chapter 3 verses 14-15 Hebrew Names of God Jehovah Yahweh Judeo-Christian Biblical Names of God The 101 Names of God given by Mare Baba.